What's up everyone, welcome back to another video, today we're going to be playing Rock League, and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to air dribble. So, so for ado, let's get started. So first, you're going to get a little push, tap the ball, let it roll up the wall, okay? Once you got that step down, it's going to be the main step to get with, okay? Another good way is just by jumping, and then hitting the top of the ball at your car. But with a little more speed. So kind of like this. Like that. But then when you go at the wall, you're going to hit it with the edge of your car. Like that. And direct it at the net. So then, once you learn, line up your car, you like this. Hit it. And adjust. But as soon as you hit that ball. So... Once you hit the ball like this, right before you hit the ball, if you see my car slightly sit down, I hit the brake. So once you hit the brake, as soon as you hit the brake, you're going to want to jump off the wall. So, and then you're going to, so when your car's like that, on the side, like sideways, I'll click I'll show you, I'm going to go at it, and then once you hit your car, Cars gonna be sideways. You're gonna want to adjust that flat. So then, once you adjust that flat, you're gonna want to go over here, and then you're gonna want to do this again. Adjust it flat, and just start trying to boost at the ball. So something basic like once you start getting it going, boost at the ball. Just boost at like that. Whatever. Just start getting it going. So then once you start getting the ball going, you can end up starting to do a little more. Adjust your car. You s don't worry about air rolls for now. They're not going to be a big deal. Because you're not going to really need them. Because you could air, air dribble without air rolling. Besides off the start, just to get the ball ready. But air rolling isn't necessary like that. So, don't worry about air rolling, okay? Like I was saying, once you do all your other stuff, all your other steps, see I'm level with the ball? You don't want that. That's bad. You're not going to want that, okay? But instead, you're going to want to pop it off the wall a little more power. And then get under it. That wasn't a good sign right there. I got to redo that. I got to actually fix that myself. What I do. Then you're going to want to get under it like this. And just worry about boosting at it under the ball. And keeping control of it. More than just hitting it away. Because I see a lot of people going up and then just. Like that. And they can't keep up with it. Okay. Make sure you're not going supersonic. Make sure you're just going like normal car speed. And then you want to get under it. And then you want to try keeping it just on the tip of your car. To keep the best control of it. So you want to keep on the tip of your car like that. Instead of boosting full force and just slamming it. You want to slowly get to it. And then on your car. And keep with it. But then eventually you can start getting better setups. Adjusting. To get more accurate to the net. And eventually you'll be able to start hitting air dribbles fully. The best way to practice this is just repetition and effect. So you can hit something a little like that. Or you can hit something like this that I'm about to show you. This is a better one. A little ground pinch. Don't worry about the ground pinch though. The ground pinch is just a little special thing I added there. It's not really needed at all. See how hard I hit that? You're not going to do that. So, it's the same concept for the left wall. It's just I'm not as good with the left wall. I'm not as comfortable. So, you're just going to want to basically do that with whatever wall you're more comfortable with. So, yeah. That's going to be the best method to do it. But, thanks for watching, everyone. And, hope you have a good day and peace.